Okay, so this is the newer CN126 video light. It's meant to mount onto a hot shoe or a cold shoe on your video camera and provide some light for your subject because if anybody knows how much it sucks to not have light for your video camera, then this will aid you because this thing puts out a ton of light. It's insane. Um, it takes a lot of batteries because it takes, uh, it outputs a lot of light. Uh, was it six? Yeah, six, uh, six of these 1.5 volt batteries go in here. Some of the features this thing has, one that's uh, I, I find really convenient is this little test button down here. Boop, you see that? Pops up with letting you know about how much power is left in your batteries. Like right now it's three out of four. Four would be fully charged. One would be, you're about to die. <laughs> so I wanna make sure you keep these guys charged. It's uh, got a little switch on the side. And the nice thing about this is that it's not just an on off switch, right? This is actually a, a switch that is dimmable. These are dimmable LEDs. So that way you can kind of turn the brightness up as much as you need it and then crank it all the way down. Notice I didn't shine it right into the, to the light because it will just completely wash everything out. These things are so bright, it is just unbelievable. I'll go ahead and do that now just so that way you can kind of get an idea. So just crank it on and this gives a little bit of light here. And then uh, as soon as you start cranking that thing up, start notice it getting brighter and brighter and brighter until it's like the sun shining in your face. I've gone upstairs and tormented my wife with this thing because it cracks me up because it's so bright. <laughs> All right, so again, it's really nice just because it is dimmable, so that way you don't have to necessarily blind everybody. If you just need a little bit of fill light to, to fill something in, um, I'll show you, like, man, that thing is bright. So if you just need to kind of like get a little bit of fill light to kind of fill in some shadows or something like that, like, oh, let's say, got a hair light. I don't know, maybe you want a little hair light going on there to make somebody's like hair stand out. Yeah, there you go. That's kind of cool. But again, just the, the brightness of this thing is just like brighter than a million friggin' suns. And it just <laughs> completely washed me out and blind me for life. All right, so I, I think that the 126 refers to how many LEDs are mounted in this thing. There's 126 of them. That's an awful lot of high intensity LCDs. I've never cranked it up yet and just let it sit there and see how long it, the batteries will last. I'm not sure. So what can you do to kind of make this a little bit uh, more flexible? Well, it comes with these. What are these? Filters. How awesome is that? So if you need to color match something like, uh, say you have uh, incandescent lights and you want to go ahead and color match, comes with this nice orange filter that you just can slide right onto it. And there you go. Now you're color matched for incandescent light. It's got kind of a orangish glow, sort of like incandescent lights. And it also has one that will help you to balance for the other very, very popular brand of lighting that seems to be everywhere these days. And that'll be fluorescent. And you can go ahead and mount this guy. It's got a pink filter. So that way you can balance for fluorescent light. And as you can see, it looks white. Why does it look white right now and not pink? That's because I'm using fluorescent lights. My, my lighting that I use for my, my camera setup is fluorescent lighting. So it's already white balanced for the, uh, the pink. So yeah. And then the other nice thing is that you don't have to just use a you know, raw like this and blind somebody's face and cast harsh shadows. It comes with a diffusing filter as well. So you can just slide this diffuser on there and now you've got nice diffused light. It's not quite as harsh. Um, it's still bright as hell. It will still blind people, but uh, yeah, it's not, it's not too shabby. Quality, it's not metal, it's plastic. This thing is cheap. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I thought it was like, I don't know, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that. I mean, it was just like really, really, really cheap for something that is surprisingly awesome. Uh, this is all, again, all plastic here too. Uh, it's got a little bit of control over like, you know, when you have it mounted, you can go ahead and twist this knob here to loosen up the adjustment here. So that way you can adjust it up or down as you need to. But that's really about the only adjustment other than tightening it down into the hot shoe itself. It's got this little twisty guy here 
So that way when you have it slid into the hot shoe, you just twist it down. Just like any normal flash or hot shoe attachment. So I would I'd give this thing like huge thumbs up. I mean it's 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 really been really convenient to run around with my camcorder. I have a, a smaller Panasonic um, that I'll use and I can put this on the hot shoe adapter on the Panasonic and run around and I have plenty of light for that thing. Even with my big uh, Panasonic AF100, this still does really well with a lot of the lenses that I use. So it's pretty indispensable. I, I would highly recommend that if you need some light and you don't want to spend a lot of money, but you still want to get a pretty good quality product, then get the CN126 because it really works. It does its job just like it's supposed to. Thank <laughs> you.